I welcome you to another edition of Hope on Heaven Reflection, a daily devotional written by Pastor E. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. My name is Raphael Olorotimi. I pastor the Living Spring Center of the Redeemed Christian Church of God in London. Our topic for consideration today is caring for the needy. The Bible passage is Matthew chapter 25 from verse 34 to 40. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry and you gave me food. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. I was naked and you clothed me. I was sick and you visited me. I was in prison and you came to me. Then the righteous will answer him saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you? Or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in? Or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say to them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of these my brethren, you did this to me. The memory verse is Deuteronomy chapter 15 verse 11. For the poor and the needy will never see from the land. Therefore, I command you saying, you shall open your hand wide to your brother, to your poor, and to your needy in your land. Reflections. Pastor E. E. Adeboye pointed out in the Open Heavens Daily Guide today how Christians often neglect one of the most sensitive obligations we have to the Lord. Proverbs 19.17 says, He who has pity on the poor lends to the Lord, and he will pay back what he has given. God is so passionate about the poor that he prefers that people should rather give to the poor than to be observing the piety of fasting in Isaiah chapter 58. It is very easy for those who have to give to others who have because they belong to the same league. However, one needs to make conscious effort to reach out to the poor. These are people who are often neglected and forsaken. From the Bible passage we read a moment ago, it was recorded. Then the king will say to those on his right hand, Come, you blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom, prepare for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. I was naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you come to me. Then the righteous will answer him, saying, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and gave you drink? When did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And the king will answer and say unto them, Assuredly, I say to you, Inasmuch as you did it to one of the least of my brethren, you did it to me. There are so many stories around helping the helpless that have received heaven's approval. Are you giving your bread to the hungry? Are you visiting those in prison and hospitals? Remember that you will have your reward for such an act of kindness to the Lord without faith, knowing fully well that God is a rewarder of those who diligently help the needy. Our prayer point today is, Father, grant me the grace and the provision I need to care for the needy in Jesus' name. As you go about your daily work today, remember, a simple act of kindness can resolve somebody's problem. God bless you as you put God's word into action. Until we come your way next time, have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.